Hello, I'm Laura Jean. Welcome to Laura Jean's Wreath Room. I am. I'll just wait. Can you hear me, Cindy? Hi, Cindy. Can you hear me? I'm on my Mevo, so I wanted to make sure. I haven't used it in a while. I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Hi, Kara. Yes, Kara, can you hear me? Hi, Becky. Hi, Cindy. Can everybody hear me? Hi, Carolyn. Hello, hello. Somebody please. Yes, thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. I just want to make sure I haven't used this Vivo in forever. And I just want to make sure. Hi, Pat. How are you? Hi, Becky. Hey, Tracy. So I am going to do, hi, Pat. I'm going to do a Halloween wreath tonight. I was going to do a, a patriotic cake. But then I thought, no, we'll do a wreath. Hi, Sunny. You can hear me. Yay. I forgot how to use the Mevo. Oh, my God. It was crazy. Hi, Debbie. How are you? So, you guys, uh, in Two Crafty Chicks, uh, Juliana in my design group, I created a carousel. So, I just wanted to show you because it's Saturday's tutorial, and it's so cute. Hold on. I'm going to find the little switch. Oh. Come on, little switch. Isn't it cute? It lights up, too. It's light in this room. So it might be hard to see. Hi, Trina. How are you, sweetie? Hi, Nancy. If you guys wouldn't mind sprinkling or spreading the love, I'd really appreciate it. It helps people find me. Isn't it cute? It turns. It is all lit up underneath, but I don't know if you can see that. I'd have to shut the lights off. Let me shut the lights off and see if you can see it. The lights are already killing me in here. Ugh, that light is so strong. Let me look. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It's so cute. No, you really so can't see it. Oh, yeah. See, it lights up. <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you, Trina. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tracy. It is so cute. I love that. I should have made a giant one. <laughs> I made it smaller because I wanted it to fit on my stand behind me. It's too tall still. I thought it would be short enough, and it's not. <laughs> so I can't put it up there. I just make things too big, and this is small. All right, I'm trying to shut it off. Hold on. All right, we're going to have to move this, though, because it's going to be in the way. I just want to show everybody because it's out cute. So let me move it. I'm just going to set it over here on the floor for now. Oh, oh. Let me shut the lights off. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'll be with you in one second. Oh, God, it's fine. Okay. Wasn't it cute? So that'll be Saturday's tutorial in uh, Two Crafty Chicks. Hi, Janet. Thank you. Hi, Tammy. Hey, Alyssa. All right. So tonight I'm doing a Halloween wreath and I'm using um, Mrs. Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein. And Kara's Creations uh, does all my faces for me. So Kara's Creation made this, and Kara's Creation is also my moderator. She's the one that's greeting you as me right now. So everybody say hello to Kara. She might be out sharing me. God, I'm so winded. <sighs> I feel out of breath. And happy Halloween uh, with Frankie on it. So I was originally going to do this with Frankie. But then I was like, do I want a Frankie face with a Frankie face? So we're going to do her with Frankie, because I have them both. And we're just going to get started. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. And uh, if you guys want to buy Mrs. Frankenstein, Carol will share her link with you, and you can go purchase them. I'm assuming she's got them in her shop. I just need way more room in here. I want to have a table made that has the built-in can garbage in it, a built-in sink, so I don't have to leave my chair. Wouldn't that be great? I've seen them. 
uh, for like scientists work desk with the sinks and everything in them. And they're like $6,000. I was like, yeah, maybe not. I'll rig something eventually. They're in your shop. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to zoom down a little bit because y'all don't need to see me. Oh, wait, wrong thing. I haven't used this in so long. Give me a minute. Just give me a second. I just want you guys to see exactly what it is I'm doing. There we go. Hello. Close up. Jesus. I hate that side. That's my bald side. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, hello, Miss Candida. So, this is a 15-inch work reform. They come with these ties already attached. Uh, you can buy right at Craft Outlet. Kara also has my supply list, so she'll be sharing that with you. I didn't pin it. I don't like to pin things. Uh, it just gets in my view. Um, but uh, she'll pin it uh, the, or share the supply list with you. Uh, and it's got all the links to where I bought everything. If I'm using like this mesh right here is Hobby Lobby mesh. Um, but I looked up an orange mesh from Craft Outlet. That way you can shop everything in one spot, okay? This is Hobby Lobby, but I did put an orange mesh up in there from Craft Outlet. So you can buy all supplies from Craft Outlet except Kara's uh, Miss Frankenstein. So I'm using a 21-inch mesh. Again, if you're using a uh, um, wreath form that doesn't have the ties attached to it, you're going to go ahead and use pipe cleaners. You're going to do 10 on the bottom, 8 on top, and they're about 4 to 5 inches apart. So again, if you guys wouldn't mind spreading the log and sprinkling this live, I'd really appreciate it. So I'm just throwing my mesh to the floor. You're going to go ahead and pinch in that end. Just, just scrunch it together. Just grab the ends and scrunch it so you have the end. You're going to go ahead and open your tie and twist it off. And we're just going to go all the way around this doing poofs. I don't measure. I guesstimate. They're probably about 10 inch poofs. Put it in there and scrunch. You love the orange? Yeah, it's a Hobby Lobby orange. It's got the foil going through it. Very Halloween-y. I have to do a patriotic cake, so we'll probably be doing that. Maybe I'll come live at another twice this week or twice next week. I don't know. Uh, I'll do it on YouTube. I haven't been on YouTube. And I will, hi YouTubers, <laughs> I will upload this live to my YouTube channel tomorrow. Um, but I need to do a patriotic cake because I'm having a 4th of July party and I want to make, you know, like a fake cake to put on the table with all the food. Hopefully no one tries to cut it. <laughs> Some of them look very real, so they can, they can fool people. Of course, my family knows I do fake cake, so they probably know instantly. But you never, never know. So, have you guys, and next month we'll be doing all Christmas, because it's Christmas in July. I love Halloween and Christmas. I'm so happy I hate summer. I mean, I love summer. I just hate making summer things. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I prefer Christmas and Halloween and fall. I love fall, too. Fall colors are so pretty. Well, you guys are not a chatty bunch tonight. Did y'all just eat dinner and you're full? <laughs> this mush is pretty. It's very pretty. So what's everybody up to? Is it whip mad hot where you are? Oh, it's so muggy today. Very, very muggy. I think we hit 89. I prefer to stay at like just 80 all year. Hi, Kim. Hi, little Kim. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Your wreaths are beautiful, by the way. Just beautiful. Whew. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, it's so hot and muggy. Yeah, I do the outer first. And it doesn't matter how you do um, put your mesh in, guys. You can start on the outer or you can start on the top. It's totally up to you. 
So I'm now transitioning from the bottom to the top. So I'm just going to grab my mesh. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Oh, California lightning. Bipolar weather. No, Texas is bipolar weather. I don't know. Their weather is like the Bermuda Triangle. California. Ugh. I've never been there. Kayla loved it. Going to the water park with the kids tomorrow. Oh, nice. Oh, I wish... I love taking the kids to the water park and Six Flags and Hershey's Park and Disney and Universal and all that. I love going to theme parks. But you know what? I really want to go to like Disney or Universal. My kids are older now. Um, with just a group of girls, like grown women. No, I'm in I'm in upstate New York. I'm in I'm right outside of Syracuse, New York. Um, but my best friend lives in Texas. And yeah, the weather there is just like one day it could be 107 and the next day it could be 60 or they could have hail. I'm like, what? The weather's crazy there. It really changes that dramatic. Actually, I'm going to see her and I didn't want to come down in the summer because she's like, the temps right now are like 107. And I'm like, yeah, I'll wait till October. <laughs> Plus, I want to go to the Texas fair. Their fair is a month long. Is that crazy? So we're just going around this whole thing and putting poops. I'm just repeating the same thing, opening the ties and putting it in. Again, you can start at the top or the bottom, the bottom to the top. It's totally up to you. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, it's West Texas. That's why it's so hot. Oh. I thought so I can tell your accent and spiciness. <laughs> yes, I'm an upstate New York girl. I don't think I have an accent, but of course I wouldn't. No thunder and rain, I wish. Yeah, we're, we're, I thought it was going to rain all day because I was actually going to do the pool and try to get a tan. Because I look like I have a tan, but it's self-tanner. But I don't lay in the sun a lot unless I'm in the pool. I can't just lay in the sun anymore. Mm -mm. My skin don't like that. You have an accent. <laughs> I do. Oh, I know Trish does. Trish got that country swings. I don't know. Her accent is so thick. <laughs> I love listening to it. Half the time I'm trying to figure out what she's saying. <laughs> oh, it's funny. All right. Let's just throw that to the floor. <laughs> Oh, it's hot. I love your accent. I don't feel I have one, but I'm sure I do. All right, so we got the mesh all the way around. Now I'm going to do a crossbar, so I'm just going to flip this over. We're going to take two pipe cleaners, and we're going to twist these two pipe cleaners together. So just twist them together. Uh, it has definitely been a while. Finally decided uh, we are going to go and move some box and everything. Oh, you moved? For the open house. Yo, nice. I, I can't wait to sell this house. I mean, I love my house, but, you know, all the kids are grown. I mean, Kayla's here, but she's leaving again. And then there's just Vincent. He's 19. Um, so you go around the crossbar, guys. I put it around the crossbar. I come up to the other side and put it around the crossbar again. And now I'm going to pull and give this tension. So you want tension on it. You don't want it loose. So give it tension and then wrap it around your crossbar or your... Um, pipe cleaner. Um, the house is just, as I'm getting older, too much for me to take care of. I, I want a, a smaller house. And smaller is not small. <laughs> I would love my own, his and her small, tiny houses. That's my dream. I said, baby, can I have my own tiny house? And then you have your house, or can we buy a house that has a separate small house? Because I'll be in there all the time, Because and it'll stay clean. Because I'm sick of cleaning grown adults, trying not to swear, and like if my house will stay perfectly clean, but it doesn't here, and I'm over it. Motor being the maid. All right, guys. So we got that crossbar, and that's because I, I cover the hole. I don't like to have a hole in my race. So I'm using three different meshes now. We're doing 10-inch mesh. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you for sprinkling. We're going to do 10 inch mesh and I'm using all border stripe. Craft Outlet is back in stock with border stripe. So get your border stripe because when it's sold out, it's sold out forever. 
So I have a green border stripe and it's got the green foil around the ends. Then we have a black border stripe or orange border stripe with the black and orange foil on the end. And then we have the purple border stripe with green, orange, and black um, around the ends. So this is 10 inch mesh and they're all cut 18 inches long. So we're just gonna ruffle these up. So the natural side that wants to curl up at you. Hi Brenda, flip it over, grab your end, just put your thumb right on the end and your, your thumbs and then scrunch it right up the middle. You're just scrunching it with your fingers up the middle. Okay, that's a ruffle. I'm gonna take a half a pipe cleaner and twist it off. Oh, grown adults, you can't keep it real with us, right? I know. I mean, I love my kids, and I wish they all would just live home till I die. But you're grown adults. Help out. Like, help your old mother out. Huh. Yeah, they're just spoiled. Very spoiled. All right, so again, I'm just scrunching them, twisting it off with half a pipe cleaner. So they look just like that. Let's do green. Betsy, oh, I thought it said Betsy Brown. Betsy Bowers. That's a cute name. Very cute. Uh, I just got some burgundy border stripe. I uh, have absolutely no idea why, but it's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. I seen that one. I think I didn't get, well, I wanted all of them because all of them were in stock. And of course I want multiple of all of them because once they're sold out, they're sold out. So I had to pick. I had to, I had to take some out, and that was one of them I took out. <laughs> I got I had one down, one to go. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to attach these to the middle uh, crossbar that we just made with the pipe cleaner. So I'm just going to put the pipe cleaner around it and twist it off. Girl, I'm already sweating. I can feel my eyebrow. My, when I'm hot, my eyebrows sweat. <laughs> Which there's barely any there, but I can feel them sweating. I might have to turn on my little fan. Let me get my little fan on. Look at my little fan. Isn't it cute? My cute little fan. I didn't want something really big because then it's loud. I think it's only got... Yeah, it's only got two speeds. Really, really low. Or fast. I just need a little grief. Oh, you've done your 18-year prison sentence. No, I want them all to live home until, until I die. I love the kids being home, even though they completely ignore me and live in the room. All right, so we got that hole filled out. And now we're going to go ahead and do woodland ruffles around the rest of the wreath. Again, same exact mesh, cut 18 inches long. And we're just going to, again, the natural side that rolls up at you this time, you're going to curl each end under. So grab it with your hands and start rolling each end towards each other and then scrunch. Okay, that's a woodland ruffle. You can put them in that way or this way. It's totally up to you. Put it in your tie and twist it off. Char Charlene, that's a pretty name. Oh, is Predizia on? Hi, Benitzi. I never recognized the name. Kara says, yeah, you were on it. Like, I don't see her. So I'm going to say hi now, just in case I miss you again. I feel bad. I, n I never would have spelled your name the way it's spelled, so I just guess I didn't recognize you. I apologize. Okay, so again, roll each towards each other and then scrunch. I love border stripe mesh. It's so cool. Yes, please remember to, if you haven't uh, liked my page, um, you can leave this live and scroll up and click that like and follow and then come back to the live. <laughs> or if you don't want to leave the page, if you just do a little heart emoji or a like, thumbs up or something, I can invite you back to my page to like it afterwards. Uh, Laura, do you untie, did you put your ruffle in? No. No, I don't untie. I just put it right on top of it. I used to. Um, and then I was like, sometimes, because uh, the, the work reform ties are shorter. The pencil tie ones are longer. Um, 
So it depends on how much stuff I'm putting in it. Um, I might have to untie it to where I put the ruffle in, but no, it's tied with the ruffle. I'm just going to put it right on top of that and twist it off again. And I don't untie it again to put the ribbon on it. I put it right on top of that and tie again. But if you're running low, sometimes you have to untie it. Just really push it in there. Great. I'm trying to figure out what color's next. Orange, purple, green. <laughs> yeah. I used to, though. I used to untie it all the time. And then I'm like, why am I doing this? This is, it's time consuming. Like I used to measure my poofs. And I always said, oh, I'll always measure. No, after a while, you're like, no, screw it. Let's just try to make them the same size and go. Because it's time consuming. And my lives were, what, three hours long? <laughs> when I first started, my lives were very long. I'm not the quickest crafter, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm trying to get the next a tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. I feel like I always t -t 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 stutter on that, that word. Um, orange, purple, green. Um, done for the group. And ugh, I'm not even going to say what it is in case it doesn't come out, but it's coming out and it's looking cute. Getting it. I'm getting there. Some of these tutorials take days. It's crazy. And then we got to try to break it all down in a couple hours. <laughs> You had so much fun on those long lives. I don't know. YouTube didn't like them. I actually saw a lady because I take my live from here. Again, I'm live and I'm, I'm chatting you all. So it would be kind of awkward if I didn't talk and kind of rude. Um, she said, you talk way too much. <laughs> I was like, I do talk a lot. <laughs> but... It's like, why go out of your way to leave a rude comment? If you don't like that I talk, just don't watch me. I knew normally I would snap back, but I was like, eh. I just uh, deleted her comment. Hello, Rupee. All right, so we got all the bottom ones on. Now we're just going to jump up and do the top. Again, we're just alternating them around each color. Because round and round and round we go. Yeah, like, I mean, I see a lot of people doing stuff, and I just like, you know, well, I won't say what I think, but, you know, it's like, not, I'm not, it's not anything like, I'm going to leave a lovely comment. If it's, if I'm not going to say anything nice or encouraging or inspiring, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to move along. But some people feel like they have to go out of their way to put you down, which I don't get. Where's she at? <laughs> Tammy, I love you. <laughs> That's right. I deleted her comment. I tried to ban her. But then I was like, even your haters like to watch you. <laughs> and I get paid for watches. So, on YouTube. Make sure you're watching those little ads, okay? <laughs> Don't skip the ad. <laughs> That's the first thing I do. As soon as that skip button's available, I'm like, skip. <laughs> Oh, uh, you talk so much as you want. You are hilarious now. Yeah, honey, I'll always talk. I mean, I am who I am. I, I'm not fake. I'm not trying to, you know, be... I could be this online persona character, but, you know, I'm just me. I thought about it, but I, I'm not that bubbly. <laughs> I'm not like, hello! I just can't. I can't keep that up. <laughs> I love the long video. Funny. Screw the bad comments. Thank you, Susan. Did I, I was like, did I not cut enough? I swear I can't count lately. You guys, you know how I always say I work harder, not smarter? <laughs> I'm really trying to change that. The pool guy, well, they broke my pool and they've been trying to fix my pool. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, wait, wait. Orange, green, orange, purple. Um, so they had to come back yesterday. And when I vacuum my pool, I have to like take the huge long hose and bend down and put it in the water and he's like why don't you just put it on the return line it'll suck all the water through it I was like dude I work harder not smarter <laughs> and I'm like dear lord I really do work harder not smarter okay great 
Oh, it was funny though. He just started laughing. <laughs> Hi, Karen. I love how you spell your name. Very pretty. I initially, when Kayla was born, I wanted the name, which is so funny because the Kardashians did that. All the kids are at case. I wanted all the kids' names to start with a K. So I had Kayla, and then I was going to do Corey with a K, but that was a huge argument. Um, and then Vincent, I wanted to name, well, Vincent, and I wanted to name Vincent Chase. After I couldn't do Corey with the K, then I just gave up on the case. Um, okay, so all the mesh is in, and this is what it's looking like. And I wanted to name him Chase, and Mike wanted to name him Vincent. Because he's Italian, he wanted an Italian name. Well, how cute would have that been? His last name is Bovolino. Chase Bovolino, you know, in school when he's older. Now the girls are trying to chase him. <laughs> but he named him Vincent. If you guys ever watch Welcome Back, Cotter, and I'm assuming most of you are about my age. I'm sure you know who that is. Uh, Vinny Barbarino, and mine is Vincent Bovolino. <laughs> so it's like, thank God the young kids don't know that. He would have got picked on. <laughs> All right. So we got that all in. So I'm going to grab my sign and face. Where did I put them? I love that I have a chair with wheels now. I don't even have to stand off. <laughs> I just wheel myself around. All right. So I'm going to figure out, again, uh, Kara does these face, Kara's creations. And do I have Frankie in here? Oh, I do. Let me show you Frankie. Oh. So originally I was going to do Frankie, but the sign has Frankie on it. And then I was like, do I want Frankie with Frankie? That's kind of odd. So I think we'll do um, the Bride of Frankenstein. But there's Frankie and the Bride. And I thought about doing them both in a wreath, but that really just jumps up the price. <laughs> and y'all know I'm not cheap. <laughs> oh, no, we want this one. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. All right, let me wrap that back up. I love these. I have all these faces. I have so many of them. I, it's hard to get to them all. Kara's like, do you need them? I'm like, no, I don't. All right. So, on again, these come with the uh, ties already attached to it, so I don't got to worry about that. So, I'm just going to set her over there, and we're going to put some pipe cleaners on the back of this. Uh, my lipstick and eyeshadow are glitter purple now. <laughs> Girl, I always have glitter on me. No matter where I go, I have glitter. I went to see a hair specialist, and they did like a sonogram on my scalp. She's like, you got like a lot of glitter on your head. I'm like, it just won't go away. I feel like that glitter is from Christmas. All right, let me grab my staple gun. I use quarter-inch staples. My staple gun... Gun, not gum. My staple gun is from Lowe's. Okay, it's the Arrow staple gun, and you want quarter inch Arrow staples. Okay. Oh, how do you say your name? I got scared for a minute when I saw the Easter wreath. <laughs> There's an Easter wreath of this one. <laughs> I can't say your name. Asa. Asa. Garcia. I can say Garcia. I'm not saying your name right. I know I'm not. Hello. I butcher people's names. Hi, Julie. Hello. Hello, sweetie. All right. So I'm just going to staple two staples in each pipe cleaner. Again, you guys, I know this sign is thick enough for these quarter inch staples. If you're doing have to staple pipe cleaners to a sign and you think your sign is too thin, you don't want these staples go through in the front, put down some felt, cardstock, paper, put your paper felt down first and then your pipe cleaner on top of it, okay? Let me do one more right here because my staples aren't on right now. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you. Thank you. See, I really feel like I get more views when I do like an embellishment or a fake cake or something. I should have did a cake. But then everybody, when I was doing the cake, said, do you do wreaths? Aren't you doing wreaths anymore? I do. I do too. I still do wreaths. All right. 
All right, so now you guys, I create as I go, so I got to figure out why I want it. I don't plan out my stuff as I go. I just do it. I just do it. All right, so let's put Frankie here. Maybe her over here. Do I want them next to each other? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, let's put her on the same side as Frankie's face. Right? Let me look. Yeah, I'm going to put her over here. So I'm going to go ahead and attach her now. I just want to make sure she's up high enough, and I think she is. I hate when you put something in the wreath and then you have to pull it out again. Hi, Karen! And reattach. It's like, no, just let me get her right the first time. All right, so I'm going to put her right here. She's so cute, and I love her purple lips and her purple. Actually, let me turn this so I can use that crossbar pipe cleaner Whoops, to attach her. Kara's like, dear Lord, don't kill her. All right, I'm going to put her right there. I'm trying to find the crossbar. Actually, that's going to pull it over to the middle too much. There. I think. Let's get this a little her face. She needs a little face support. <laughs> Turn it around real quick. I'm going to give it a little tension now, just a little. You don't want to like sink her face all the way down into that mesh, but you don't want her just floating on top. So give it a little tug, some tension. Okay, so she's on. Let's figure out the sign. And I feel like she's pulling over too much. Yeah, I got to do this bottom one because it's pulling over to the middle too much. And I don't want it there. So hold on. Let me untwist that one. Let me untwist it. Oh, it's so hot in here. Hi, Jesse. Hello, sweet lady. How are you? All right, I'm going to... Just move it over a little so it's not pulling to the middle. If I can find the read form. Hi, Diane. How are you, sweet lady? Hello, hello. Pull that down. There. Her, her face was going a little too far over in the middle. Hello, Diane. How are you? Why does everyone think it's Easter? <laughs> it's Halloween. Do I have, does it look like a bunny? I'm good. Uh, I'm sweating my butt off over here. Yes, good, Diane. I'm glad you're doing good. All right. So, I got that where I want it. I'm going to put Frankie, I'm going to tuck his sign a little bit underneath her head. I like things kind of peek -a So let me attach that first pipe cleaner under her face. I gotta grab it and get it in there. I'm gonna wrap that around the wreath form. That's what you put in the title of the video. I did. Looks nothing like an Easter to me. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm using the Mevo. Oh my God. That is funny. <laughs> I didn't even, so I'm using the Mevo and it must have, that is weird. It didn't ask me to put, it must have the last wreath I did on this. <laughs> I can't be cross. <laughs> That's funny. The, the last wreath I made on this Mevo was probably an Easter wreath and that's why it's coming up as that. Oh my God, that is funny. No wonder no one's coming on. They're probably like, I don't want him watching make a damn Easter wreath. 
Oh, dear Lord. I was like, why do these collars look Eastery? I didn't, didn't get it. <laughs> I'm doing good, Diane. I'm actually doing, I'm doing a lot, a lot, lot better. Way better than winter. Winter's getting rougher and rougher every year for me. I didn't, I didn't see it either, Carolyn. That's funny. <laughs> I kept seeing people say something about Easter and I'm like, I don't know what they're talking. I kind of just ignored it for a minute. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. What are you guys on drugs? <laughs> oh, I am doing Halloween. <laughs> oh, I'll have to, I didn't realize it did, it said that. It didn't show it. That's funny. Now, the next time I do a live, it'll probably be Christmas. It's going to say how to make a Halloween wreath. <laughs> so you never know until you actually pop on. Well, that is too funny. All right. Let's get the sign on. So I got the sign in her on. So cute. Let me just hold it up to make sure I got where I want it. Yes. All right. You know what time it is? It's bow time. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. It's barely blowing at me. Let's turn it up a little. Is that too loud? My little tornado is not that much of a tornado. Thank you, Alvira. Is it Alvira? Alvira. I'm so bad at names. Kara, well, Kara, I used to call Kara <laughs> for the longest time. And then when I met her in person, I, I'm like, is it Kara or Kara? She's like, it's Kara. I'm like, oops. Sorry, Kara. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot, Sonny. Sonny, I swear it's been a long time. <laughs> Why do I always forget the ribbon lately? I've been doing Reese Ramos four years, and lately, uh... The second way you said it. I don't even remember how I said it. Alvira? Alvira. Okay, wait. Alvira 1, Alvira 2. My bad. My bad. You guys, let's put the ribbon in. I can still put them in. <laughs> I skipped the ribbon. I forgot even how I said it now. I'll just call you L. All right, so I'm using uh, this two and a half inch rib ribbon and this one uh, and a half inch. And again, all the ribbons are from Craft Outlet and Kara will be sharing that supply list with y'all. So we're just gonna alternate these. These are 12 and a half inches long. Hi, LaVon, how are you, sweetie? Two, Elvira. Oh, shoot, I don't even remember. <laughs> Can you? message me a messenger and speak into the voice recording. Some people do that. Laura, this is how you say it. <laughs> and then I have, and most people call you that. Okay. <laughs> Cause they don't know which one it is. Uh, then I have the Frankenstein ribbon with the one and a half green. And again, they're 12 inches long and I always dovetail. You're just going to fold your ribbon in half and then cut it at an angle to give it that V, that little V look. Kara, have you put up the, the supply list? I haven't seen it. And again, um, I'll put it up in comments at the end, too. As long as that helps. It does. I don't like saying people's names wrong. Even though I probably still will. I'm just so bad at pronouncing stuff. Pronouncing. 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 I can't even say it. I need to go to grammar school. All right. So we're just alternating these, uh, the two of them back and forth. You're just alternating them all the way around. Jesus, the ribbon is really what makes this straight. Let's get this ribbon in. Yes, it's my little fan. Can you hear it? Is it too loud? Is it too loud on camera? Okay, Kara, thank you. I just only look up every now and then, so I just didn't see it. Thank you, Kara. Kara, <coughs> see, I still say Kara. Whatever. She calls me a bunch of names, and it ain't my name. <laughs> oh. All right. 
right, so we're just alternating the pretty ribbon. And again, you can get all this ribbon from Craft Outlet. The purple I'm using, I did get from Waterman's Loft, but I looked up a purple. It's the same color from Craft Outlet. That way you guys don't have to pay um, shipping and, and buy stuff from multiple places. Elvira is the vampire. Oh, okay, it's Elvira. Elvira? Oh. Listen, I got tons of nicknames. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. <laughs> I never need a cute... I need a cute fan for my room. How pretty. You know, I don't really even remember where I bought that little fan, but it was little. and Because I had a stand-up one in here. But I don't like lamps and lights and all that stuff around my table. It drives me nuts. And all the cords and stuff like that. I hate that. So I brought that one upstairs. And I remembered I had that little fan. So I found it. And it's just it just keeps that, um, you know, my eyebrows from sweating. <laughs> it cools me off from these that freaking gigantic light above me. That light just beams this room up. Hi, Tanya. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God, do you guys know who Judge Mathis is? Do you guys get that down south? Judge Mathis? I love Judge Mathis. He's got his own reality show. It's so funny. He's so funny. It just started. Yeah, Tammy's on, Jesse. She's She was in here. She better still be in here. No, I'm just playing. Go all the way around. Okay, so we got all the bottom ones on. Let's get the top ones on. I forgot to put them in. <laughs> got Owl, my old moderator. I'm sure all you guys who've been following me since the beginning know who Owl is. She used to make Reese with no ribbon. She hated ribbon. I'm like, no, you gotta have a wreath with ribbon. My daughter doesn't like bows either. She's weird. I, you know, when I first started crafting, I didn't know how to make a bow. So my wreath didn't really have bows in them. But once I learned how to make a bow, I don't think I've made a wreath without a bow. There's just no way. I cannot wait for girls day. It's gonna be so fun. Except for the flight. Yeah, she used to do no ribbon in her wreaths. She said maybe that's why they didn't sell. <laughs> it's like they're so plain looking. I mean, some people, trust me, I, I had um, custom orders where they did not want any kind of foil, any kind of glitter, no shine, not a lot of... And I'm like, and you want me to make it? Have you seen my wreaths? Like, you should find someone else. <laughs> no, no. Like, I could do the no glitter and stuff, but me not filling them up? No, no. That's just not my style. And I have turned down orders. Of course, I don't really do custom orders now, but when I did. And only because the people were such a pain. I can feel it here. Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh, it drives me nuts when hair touches my arm. <laughs> like, you know, a piece that falls and it's just touching you. Oh, it's like, get off me. It's still touching me. Where is it? There it is. Get off me. It's like the glue wet. That's what I feel like. I feel like glue wet. Drives me crazy. You gotta have right, Terry? Exactly. Yeah. She just didn't like ribbon. I think she's doing signs now. I think she makes signs now. I don't know. I haven't talked to Owl in forever. 
when we went our separate ways, we went our separate ways. <laughs> and Jesse, it was 80, it's almost, it was 90 degrees today, very muggy. And I was actually going to do the pool today to try to get a little color. Um, but it said it was going to start uh, raining around noon. So I was like, eh, you know, uh, after the thunderstorms. And it didn't rain at all. That's right. That hair is following me. <laughs> yesterday was mine and my husband's anniversary. Right? The first day of summer? It was yesterday? Yeah, the 21st. Uh, it was my husband and my anniversary. We've been married 20 years. Isn't that crazy? 20 years. Uh, when doing the ribbon and bows, do they have to have wire in them? Yes, Monica. Um, so... See how they're all going outwards and standing up. See, I can, I can pull this up and it keeps that upwards. If you did no wire in it, they would all be like laying down. Um, you definitely want wire in your, I hope all of these were turned the right way, uh, ribbons for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Wired ribbon. Thank you, everybody. Yep, 20 years. We've been together 20 years. We've been, been together. We've been together 24 years and married 20. Isn't that crazy? All right, so here it is with the ribbon. I'm just look, looking. Let me zoom it up a little. Look, this way. It's always the opposite way. I get confused. All right, let me. Thank you, Daddy. Let me pan back down. All right, we're going to do a bow, so I'm going to move that stuff over. <coughs> Let me grab some ribbon. Let me set this on the floor. All right, so again, I'm just using the, and I don't even know if I'm going to use all this ribbon um, for her bow, so hold on, hold on. So, I don't, I'm not going to use this in her, um, her, her bow. And, I think I'm just going to do these right here. All right. Thank you. So, when you're using, when you're making a bow, you want to use a strong gauge wire. I'm going to use it. I always use a 22 gauge wire. I miss where you said you got that face. It's from Kara. Yeah, Tammy. Kara made it. Kara makes all my faces. Oh, thank you, Terry. So, I love making bows. I, I kind of make the same bow a lot. We got to, we got to, I got to start doing different bows, but not today. It's not going to be as big as I normally do it, though. All right. So you want to use a 22-gauge wire because, trust me, if you don't, you're going to pop it when you go to tighten it. Oh, thank you, Jesse. So put your wire in half, and then you're going to put it right through your bow dabra or your easy bow maker. Tuck it under to get that wire out of your way so you're not stabbing your hand because it hurts. All right. Now I'm using, I'm out of a lot of four inch ribbon and I have an order coming on Friday, but that does me no good today. So I'm going to use this D Stevens, D Stevens very sequenced ribbon. It's got, it's all sequins. It's very pretty. See that? Why mess for perfection? <laughs> I know, right? When you love a bow, I love a bow. It's like, eh, that's kind of my signature, I feel like, on my wrist. Like, when you see them, you kind of know it's mine from the bow. All right. So, I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, let's do about, I don't want a really long, let's just say a 12-inch tail. I'll probably end up cutting that down a little. Okay, is that long enough? And then you're going to twist. Every time you're putting ribbon through this middle part of your bow dabra, you're going to twist it. This ribbon's thick. <laughs> okay. 
Okay? Then you're going to bring it up. See the, the bad side, the good side's facing down, and this is the unfinished side. So that way when you flip this up, the good side's up. And I'm going to do about, let me just look on my measuring mat here. I'm going to do, let's say a 7 inch loop. Let me get that down to the 7. I'm going to pinch that down. Fluff it up. Now you're going to twist. I hold this side just because this ends up spreading really wide and I don't want it to come up. And it's very thick. Twist. Make a loop again. We're doing a 7 inch loop. And we're going to do it twice. 7 is pretty much where it's at. Pinch it down. Fluff it up. So do that twice. Twist. I don't think I brought another two and a half inch ribbon in here. Oh, she's thick, she's thick, she's thick. Pinch it down. Do you guys need me to zoom in a little bit more? Actually, let me move my fan out of your way. I'm sorry. My fan's like right in the middle of your view. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. Twist and show and let it all out. All right. Again, bring that over. Oh, you scared me. Hi, honey. I didn't even know you were home. That was you. You going to the gym? Okay. Love you. Alright, let's bring this down. I'm going to use my previous tail as my guide to cut it. grab this. Actually, I'm going to do a one and a half inch first. Let's do green. So I'm going to make the tails just as long. Pinch it down. Twist. See, this ribbon is so thick. It's got this so wide. It's, you got to hold it to keep it down. All right, we're going to again do two loops on each side. And I'm coming in probably about a six inch loop right now. So I'm going to do two loops on each side, six inches long. So what do you guys like to see more of? Do you like to see more like fake cake dessert kind of things or a wreath? What would you prefer to see? Oh, got to sharpen those scissors. All right, so I'm going to come on top. Reese. Okay. Reese. Nice. All right. Let's come up with the striped ribbon. Again, same length on all the tails. All the ribbon tails are going to be the same length. Twist. Every time I say that, I sing to myself, inch out and let it all out. <laughs> Cut 
that tail. Let's come in with some purple one and a half, one and a half inch. Love the baked cakes. Yes. Reese in your embellishments. I can't. Oh, I was, I was looking for the rubber band and it's pinned. <laughs> it's like I can't find it. All right, we're going to come in with purple now. And I'm going to do two loops on each side again. And they're, and I'm just coming in shorter each time I do a loop, guys. Each time I add a different ribbon, I'm just coming in a little bit shorter than the previous one. I don't use my measuring thing only for that first four inch. And then I just use that as my guide to go in smaller each time. So do four. Oh, that fan's making my nose run is the only thing. It's either my eyebrows are sweating or my nose is running. It's one or the other. Good grief, Flora. Love. What did I do? What did I say? Okay, let's cut that. I gotta grab a tissue. Where'd my pin go? We're going to just end with black. Hi, Maria. Hello, hello, sweetie. Let's do black. We're just going to do one loop on each side. And again, I'm coming in smaller with my loop. watching how the big cakes are made. I just have, I don't have as much as any for them. I love your ice cream, your ice creams and popsicles and lollipops. Oh, thank you, Tammy. That's because you're so busy making those very time consuming balls. <laughs> oh, those fabric balls are so time consuming. I love them, but they're so time consuming. Thank you, Alvira. All right, so squeeze it down. I push down as hard as I can and I pull one of my wires and I grab the other one and I pull. I'm pulling this tight, guys. I'm not letting off the tension as I'm lifting it out. I got full tension on both these wires. I'm going to grab my wire and bring it to the back as I'm keeping that tension or your, your bow's going to fall apart. All right. Now... I'm going to pull it as tight as I can and twist the whole bow, but I'm also going to zip tie that. Um, I always tend to zip tie because I popped my wire and lost my bows and I don't feel like making it again. So I always put a zip tie around it. Plus that D Stevens ribbon is very thick. So I'm going to bring it to the back. Now you want it super tight guys, but sometimes if you go too tight with your bows, it, it turns your stack here. This is your stack, all the ribbon that's stacked. It'll start turning it. So make sure it stays straight. If you're pulling, if you're tightening it too much, it's going to start dipping your stack. So keep that in mind. Where's my... Uh, are you going to use the fabric? Yes, I am, Tammy. I am, I am. Tammy makes me balls. <laughs> I don't know why I get the biggest kick out of saying bowls. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. The see Saretha is looking fabulous, people. All right. So now we're going to fluff. You guys, when it comes to fluffing, don't be afraid to fluff. Fluffing is very addicting. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Fluffing is highly addicting. So I'm going to pull all my ribbons over because I want you to see what I'm doing. Don't worry. These are wired. Everything will go back in. Trust me. I flattened bows down and put them in boxes and just re-fluff them. Let me pull all my tails down. So you're going to take your four inch. You're going to pull one up and one down, just like that. Okay. And a lot of times if you get in where you tightened it down here, 
I, I tend to pull them from down there a lot. A certain ribbon, if it's thin, will rip. So try to get used to it. If it's a thin ribbon, to move it from here. Then this one, we're just going to, again, one up, one down. The two and a half inch is going to go right in the middle of that one and a half inch. So go ahead. Come on, grab it. Get it right. Do not be afraid to fluff and really, it's not, you're not going to hurt it. Pull that down. Then the one and a half inch again on each side of that two and a half inch. So one on the top, one on the bottom. Turn that, twist it the wrong way. And then the black one inch just fluff straight up. All right. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. The switch hands, pull all your tails down, and fluff away. And then you have a bow. Uh, you think you have that? You probably do, Carrie. You probably have that ribbon. Actually, that four-inch ribbon, Carrie. I think you sent me. I don't remember. All right. Let me move my fan a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna put this underneath her face. She got a teeny tiny face. Actually, you know what I want to do? It's a little snug right here. Let me see if I can put that in there. So I'm just going to line this up right underneath her face. I'm going to go ahead and pop my wire through. Wait, something's twisting back here. Four inch tails. Hold on. All right. Where is she? <laughs> Where's that face? I'm going to get it right under her chin. I like to turn my wrist so I can see where that bow is landing on her face. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. I'm going to try to put her face right in the middle of this bow. Hold on. Go ahead and tighten this bow. I'm making sure that I tighten this bow where there's a crossbar because uh, your wire is going to slide and then your bow is going to loosen up. So make sure you're wrapping it where there's a crossbar. Oh, something's in my way. Hold on, guys. I can't grab it. I can't grab it. to wrap it multiple times so nothing ever falls off. So give me a second. All right. Let me fluff that really quick. Make sure it's lined up right where I want it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dovetail the ends of my ribbon. You're just going to fold your ribbon in half. Just fold it in half and then cut it at an angle. And I'm kind of just going to trim these all at the same length. If I want them shorter, I'll, I'll trim them down tomorrow when I see it on the door.
Uh, the four inch ribbon, I'm just going to cut at an angle. So I don't dovetail those. I just cut a little, like an angled line straight across. You can dovetail them or angle them. It's totally up to you. Table. I don't want to poke myself. Uh, do you still? Yes, I put backs on all my race. Yes, they are dull. I got to sharpen them. Here, let me do that now. They are dull. They're sticky too. Because I use these for everything. <laughs> like I have certain scissors for certain things, but I always end up just grabbing these and cutting them. And it dulls them down. I had sticky stuff all over it. Oh, thank you, Helen. Yes, I always, always cover that, and I can grab a, um, a back on it, and we can put one on a, uh, right after. Just hopefully I don't forget. You guys know I say something, then five minutes later I forget. <laughs> then I end the live like, oops, I forgot. <laughs> I should go grab it now so I can see it. Let me go grab a, a back for this so we can put a back on it. Hold on one second. Let me just grab one because I didn't bring one in. We're almost done though, so don't worry. Hold on one second. That way we don't forget. If I don't see it, I'll forget. <laughs> All right. So let me uh, zoom back out a little. All right. Let me hold it up and show you what we have so far. So that's what she looks like with her bow. Oh, there's a fly. He's walking. Sorry guys, <laughs> I hate flies. Nasty little boogers. All right, could have been worse. <laughs> All right, so let me grab some of the embellishments I brought up. Uh, Tammy, my dear, sweet, lovely lady, made, uh, sends me her fabric balls, so we're gonna use some of those. I brought these up, uh, I'll save this for a different read. Uh, these ones were, where are you? <laughs> I was looking for my phone. Uh, Craft Outlet. I got these from Craft Outlet. I think I put this few in there because I thought I was going to use them, but I think I'll save them. And then I had the bigger ball. We'll save that for a different read. We'll put some candies and some lollipops in that ball in there. And I'll save those other ones. I don't want to put too much in here because the more I put in it, the more it's going to cost. I'm going to make... Your skeleton Scott. Oh, that one came out so good. I still got to list that. I haven't listed it. I'll list it when I list this one. Yeah, I can't wait to sh uh, do Mrs. Bones in. We're going to be doing a mannequin in the group. So she'll have a whole new hat. I'll be doing a tutorial separate for the hat because it'll be a whole different hat. Um, oh, I can't wait to do mannequin. I love doing mannequin race and the Mrs. Bones. All right, so again, you guys, I've seen you. I'm going to save that back though. Uh, Tammy, my girlfriend, sent me these. Tammy, what's your, what's, what's Tammy's, um, oh God, I feel horrible even asking that. Tammy, do you have an Etsy shop? Oh, fan, you're not even hitting me. I'm waiting for Tammy to answer me. Because if you do, I want you to share it right now. So, she makes a lot of these balls. She's got patience of a saint, because these are so... Freaking cute. Look, this way is cut a whole different way. Like, that's amazing. Uh, you can get them at Home Depot. 
Oh, so these are just round placemats. Um, these ones are bigger. Um, I I do I used to get them from Dollar Tree, but Dollar. Oh, you don't, Tammy girl. You gotta get. I'm gonna have to get on. What? Once we go to Kara's, I'm gonna get. We're gonna do some business things. Anyways, these are from. This one's from the at home store. They're mat. They're uh, round. Placemats are bigger, so I like them bigger because my wrists are huge, and I try to cover as most of the back as I can. So these ones are from the at-home store, but you can get them from the Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart has the round ones. Um, but I find the at-home store, my Dollar Tree really hasn't had any, and they finally had red and blue, and I bought them all. I bought all of them because I haven't seen them there in forever. Uh, Tammy does not sell any. I yell her. Yeah, well, she's gonna. We're gonna set her up a, a Etsy shop when we. We're gonna set that all up, Tammy. That's crazy. You, you're very talented and make a lot of things. You should be selling them. I'm too impatient to make these and put them in my shop. I thought I'm gonna make all these embellishment things and I'm gonna sell them. Yeah, embellishments are very time consuming. I do not have the patience. But anyways, those are from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. And uh, as soon as we get her Etsy shop up, we'll, we'll share those on the live, on one of the lives. And then I showed you guys all how to do the foam lollipops. Um, not last week, the week before, two weeks ago. So uh, foam lollipops and then the ornament balls. That's all I'm going to put in this. Because again, the more I add, the more it's going to jump in price. So let me look. Let me look. These are so cute. I kind of want to see them all. I like that side. I like that side. Let's put it in so you see. I kind of like, I like this side. I'm going to use this side. I'm going to turn that so I just see this side. I'm going to smack some, I'm, I'm covering your jewel. But I like it just this side. So I'm going to use just this side. And I got my low temp glue gun, so... I thought I was doing a cake. And I'm going to stick this ball right on these ties for the wreath form. So it helps really hold it and it makes it stand up a little more. Make sure when you put glue, you separate your ribbons. Let that cure for a minute. I need something to put right here in the middle of her bow. And I have a little Frankie. I have a little Frankie guy that walks. I was going to put there and I don't know where to put it. I'll just put a jewel or something. I'll have to look for a purple. No, nope. yeah, purple jewel or something. All right, let's pop one of these. Actually, I'm going to do a candy up at the top. And I did not paint the stick. So we're going to hide that stick because I forgot to paint it. Shove it right down in here. You can also use your ties and twist it off. Just like that. Alright, let's do a ball over on this side. Yeah, like that, like that. I'll have this in my Etsy shop tomorrow, along with my other... Actually, I'll probably have them up tonight. I'm going to do computer work when I go upstairs. I got some stuff to do. I didn't get to today. All right, so we have a ball here and a ball here. So we're going to do that triangle shape. So I have one here, one here. So we're going to go right up here at the top. And we're going to add the other ball. Whoops. And I'm going to try to stick it to those ties. Make my ribbon. Let that dry for a second. I'm going to see if I have a purple jewel. Hold on one second. Where are they? I know I do. I know I do. On this one. No, let me grab my other one. It's only got blues. I don't know, maybe I don't. I don't know. 
want to, I always put something though in the middle of the bowl. I didn't bring flowers in either. It's really, uh, they're kind of purpley blue. I'll have to find something. I know I got purple ones. I just got to find them. I'm going to put a big purple purple jewel right in the middle of that bow as soon as I find one. <laughs> All right. So now I have just one lollipop left. And I'm going to put that right down here. I'm going to twist it in the tie. Give me a second. That's it. I'm done. Let me zoom up. Hello. All right. Do you have those little round candies for the bow? What little round candies? I want to watch something in the bow. I have a whole bunch of lifesavers, but those don't really go. I mean, hold on, I'm looking. I don't have any of my Halloween stuff in here. It's all in the in the garage. Um, I had all these candies in here, but they're not what I want. No. I have a hand. <laughs> I have a little purple hand. No, I'll find something and put it there. I just didn't bring anything and I didn't think about it. My bad. All my stuff, all my uh, Halloween stuff's in the garage. All right, let me hold it up. All right, so let's do the back. Let me move my gun over. I'm going to grab four zip ties. I use zip ties. You can use... Hold on, guys. I can feel a glue web on me. You guys just don't understand. I have such a pet peeve when I can feel it. It kills me. All right. Can I have zip ties in here? So I grab, you can use pipe cleaners, I use zip ties. We're gonna grab four zip ties and then your round placemat, okay? These are just placemats for your tables. Oh, I didn't even straighten out my ribbon. All right, so we're gonna hold this up. So cute. But I'm gonna turn this around now. I'm gonna sit on my table a little bit. You wanna make sure that all your wires and your pipe cleaners and all of that. Sometimes I'll take out pipe cleaner from down here and one on top and I twist them together. Like these two right here, we can twist together. And that just really helps to make sure nothing falls off. Uh, this wire, I'm gonna twist with that pipe cleaner. All right, so point them all to the inside of your wreath. You want nothing that's sharp sticking to the outside. Then you're going to take your, I can never tell if there's a front or a back, but oh, that one's got to come down. Let me twist it to this. All right, we're going to put our placemat on. I take my zip tie and I poke right through. And then I go up around the wreath form, the top of the form, the bar, and zip tie it. Okay, we'll tighten it after. I'm going to go ahead and do one on each side. I do four. I do one on the top and the bottom and on each side. Sometimes I do three, um, depending on when I make, when I bend my frame and it's more elongated. Um, sometimes these don't reach the bottom. And... 
I might not leave, um, I might not do one on the bottom, depending on what, if they have to get inside first, if I have like something with batteries, I always leave, like if you have lights in your wreath and it needs a battery pack, leave the bottom so they can cut, at least get in there and change it, or you can zip tie the battery pack to the outside of the frame. So let's go ahead and put one on this side. Get on my lay wire. Grab a bottom one. I'm going to lay this down for a second. Alright, so now I'm going to pull them all tight. Then you're going to go cut off the extra zip tie. So cut that off. But when you cut those, those are a little sharp now. So you want to make sure that you're turning where you just cut to the inside of the wreath because you don't want to scratch the door with them. Tuck that in. You just got to make sure everything's tucked in. No wire sticking out. The little zip ties are turned to the inside. Anything that can scratch your door, you want to make sure it's turned to the inside of the wreath. Then I also use my um, ribbon as my hanger. Okay? So let me find how I want this to hang. Now that I just messed it all up. And right here. So I'm going to take my hanger around the back of the wreath form. And I'm going to make a knot. I'm trying to hold the wreath form and do this, but ah, let me pull my leg up there. Okay, then I determine how long I want it. You do not want your ribbon, okay? I found, like, if I come all the way over here and tie it, and then I come all the way over here and tie it, it makes your wreath hang down a little bit. I like my wreath flat to the door. If you do the ribbon too wide, it makes it hang, the front of your wreath hang. Um, it tips it forward. I don't like that. So I don't go very wide apart with my ties. Let me cut that and tuck it under your wreath form. You don't need a lot of hanger space. It's just going on a little hook thing. And now you have your hanger. It's all covered in the back. You can go ahead and trim your tie things down if you want. That's the back. Let me fluff this back out. <laughs> I hold it up one more time. That turned. And then we are done. that side. You guys, when you take pictures of your wreath, if you sell them or you're new, you really want to make your photos picture perfect. Um, so you want to make sure when you're taking that photo, I always do it on the outside door in the natural light. It's the best way to get a, the actual color of your wreath. And you want to make sure that you got all little frays and glue webs, but you want to make sure that you're pulling all your ribbons so they're pulled outwards and they're nice and straight, okay? If you just throw them in there and your ribbons look a hot mess, your wreath pictures are going to look a hot mess and they're not going to be very sellable. So you want everything perfect. I mean, even when I ship these in the boxes, I fluff everything back out, even though they're going to get tumbled and it's not going to look like that when they open it. 
right here. There it is. I might get a delay. I'm waiting for my camera to show me. Hold it up. Oh, that's cute. Come on, delay. Hurry up. Go up closer. Very cute. So I'll have this in my Etsy shop tomorrow or tonight. Well, actually tomorrow because it's a little, it's getting a little dark out. So I know those pictures are going to look dark on the door. And I try not to um, mess with the pictures by, you know, enhancing them or photoshopping them. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I have because they look dark on camera in the photos. So I just add, you know, touch them up so they look exactly the color it's supposed to. I never not try to make my wreath look like it's not supposed to because I don't want someone to get it and be like, dear Lord, that's nothing like the picture. <laughs> Where's my pen? Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Jean. Janine. Jean. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. I love Halloween. It's so cute. I got to do a candy corn one, though. And I love candy corns. Uh, Reese, I just love them. So we'll be doing one of those soon, too. But Christmas in July is coming up, so <laughs> we'll be doing a lot of Christmas. All right, I'm just going to hold it up again. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I appreciate you guys, you guys all hanging out with me. Um, also, if you want to learn how to make, uh, it'll be Saturday's tutorial, the a little carousel here. Oh, wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. The lights are not on, but I'm not going to turn them on. Uh, if you want to learn how to, well, I didn't even bring it up enough, <laughs> make the carousel, uh, that'll be Saturday's tutorial into Crafty Chicks. It's $31.50 a month to join. Uh, you'll get four, four tutorials a month from me and four from Juliana. And every now and then I do little bonus uh, tutorials in there. Actually, I'll be doing one very soon. Um, yes, I'm definitely doing a candy corn, Carolyn. I love candy corn Reese. Um, so that's this Saturday's tutorial. And uh, also, uh, if you haven't subscribed or liked my page or YouTube channel, I hope you do so. And make sure if you want to see me again or know when I'm live, that you hit those notification bells. Hit the notifications because I'm on air. I love that little sign. It's right above me, too. I'm like, please don't fall on my head. That's going to leave a mark. Uh -huh. Good night. Thank you, Alvira. Thank you, sweetie. You have a good night. All right, ladies. I'm off to put jammas on, throw my hair up, and take this makeup off. I put makeup on, but I'm really far away. I don't know why. I kind of like the Nebo. I'm not so close up. Thank you, Debbie. Good night, Miss Canada. This one I call you Debbie, Miss Canada. Debbie's my OG. Uh, Debbie's the first lady that joined, well, her and another lady, but the other lady actually lived 20 minutes from me and she passed away. She was so sweet. But her and Debbie were my first OGs that ever, my first design group I opened. Debbie's been with me ever since. So I call her the OG. And a lot of my girls have been. But her and, her and the other lady were the first two. All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks thanks for sharing and caring. I really appreciate it. I'll be live again next Wednesday at 7. So I hope you all will join me then. I hope you all have a great blessed night, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, everybody. Good night. Now i got to figure out how to end my Mevo. <laughs> how do I stop it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't used it in so long. Huh. Slide to stop. Oh.